Why Dallas-Fort Worth over Houston? I'll tell you why. Texas is a big state with lots of big cities and lots of opportunities. If you're thinking about making the move and you're comparing between Dallas and Houston, there's quite a few reasons why you would choose Dallas over Houston. The, the, the funniest one in the battle between Dallas and Houston is actually climate. They're really not that different, but Houston tends to be quite a bit more humid. Closer to the Gulf of Mexico, closer to the, uh, I'd say the coast, but Houston has a large shipping channel. So there's actually, uh, you know, Gulf of Mexico, Bayside water all the way well into the interior of Houston major bayou coming down through the coast so uh to the coast the point being it is significantly more humid now i grew up in houston and have lived in dallas for over 15 years i've experienced the difference it is noticeable now the bigger items might be more employment related lifestyle related you would probably prefer dallas if you're more interested in the airline industry banking industry there's sort of a burgeoning really quickly growing technology hub here in the dfw area both on the dallas and fort worth side big companies like uh, apple and facebook with significant presences here um we, we, we've had a history of telecommunications having a large presence here. Um, there's and there's quite a few others. Um, from from a couple of different perspectives, um, DFW probably offers more in the realm of higher education. Quite a few nationally known universities here. Houston has a few as well, but Dallas has probably more than our fair share for our size of community, as far as colleges, graduate schools, law schools, medical schools, dental schools, things like that. There's quite a few. So there's a big draw there as well. Um, DFW International Airport is one of the largest airports in the world. And Dallas tends to be, I mean, tends to be, it is almost as centrally located as you can be in the United States. Pretty much Dallas or Chicago would be those two huge hubs that are most centrally located. So when you're thinking about Dallas versus Houston, Houston's got a great airport, got a couple of them, but Dallas has the options to be uh, many more options to get international and to get throughout the country um, and, and usually more affordably as well. So Dallas is not a standalone community though. When you combine Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington and surrounding, we then quickly become one of the largest metropolitan statistical areas in the world, right? So if you want access to a huge city, Houston by itself is a much larger city than either Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Frisco, any of those cities. As a whole though, DFW is actually larger. So depending on how you look at that, if you want to get into a really big city with all the job and medical and travel resources, you can do that either place. But if you would like to get into a smaller city with all of those, then Dallas Fort Worth actually offers you some better options, right? Dallas by itself is much smaller than Houston. Fort Worth by itself is way, way smaller than Houston. And certainly some of the surrounding cities, that's definitely true. In Houston, it just never ends. Houston just keeps on going and going and going, basically from Galveston all the way up to the Woodlands and, and some areas it feels like beyond. So geographically speaking, from a mileage perspective, if you're interested in a big city, but a smaller one, Dallas or Fort Worth is probably gonna strike your fancy a little bit more there. Uh, from a traffic perspective, a lot of what I just said still applies. There's traffic in all of these places. Houston traffic is pretty horrible in a lot of places. Dallas and Fort Worth, because they're smaller, it's just not as bad. It can still be some serious congestion, but you're not making quite as far of a drive. Very few people are commuting from Dallas to Fort Worth and back on a daily basis. Some people do it, but in Houston, a lot of people are making the equivalent of that commute every day because the city of Houston is simply that big. So. If you are interested in those types of things, you're gonna pick Dallas over Houston every single time. By all means, there are reasons you would choose Houston over Dallas for other things. I grew up in Houston. I lived, lived in Dallas for a long, long time. I love both cities. I'm in Dallas for a reason. I have not moved back to Houston for a lot of reasons. So when you think about making your choice for where you might move within the state of Texas. Obviously there are other choices, but if you're boiling it down to Dallas, Fort Worth or Houston, I think a lot of people are making that Dallas, Fort Worth choice because of reasons we've stated and 
DFW tends to be a more stable housing market. When you're thinking about buying a home, Dallas Fort Worth offers pretty much anything you could ever want. There's certainly some things we don't have, but we've got, you know, brownstone looking uh, shared wall opportunities. We've got large single family, small single family, ranch style, commercial style. Uh, um, I mean, uh, contemporary style. You've got large lot, small lot. You've got all these things. Now, the big difference though is Dallas and Fort Worth are under significant zoning regulations. Now that sounds like a negative, but it is a positive. Dallas tends to be seen, Dallas Fort Worth tends to be seen as a cleaner, more organized, um, well, better planned community. Houston is pretty well known for having little to no zoning, which means you might have residential next to industrial, next to commercial. Um, it, there's not a lot of areas where it's quite that dramatic, but there are areas where it is literally that dramatic. And there's a lot of areas where it doesn't seem to make sense and seems to be a little messier and more disorganized. So from a city identity within the realm of real estate development, building, there's, that's a big difference. And a lot of people prefer the Dallas Fort Worth look and feel because of that. I certainly do myself. That would be a strong consideration for me when buying real estate and thinking about values. Another couple things that we've already mentioned, but I wanna say in a different way, related to the stability of a residential real estate market are those industries that each city is tends to be known for houston is a huge oil and gas and refinery oil and gas refinery community because of that the oil and gas business experiences more frequent ups and downs now certainly airlines and banking and other industries experience their ups and downs but oil and gas unfortunately experiences a more frequent up and down and tend to be some pretty dramatic ups and downs. Just in recent years, Houston has experienced more volatility than Dallas Fort Worth because of the oil and gas industry. There's one other major reason that comes to mind that Houston experiences more volatility, and that is weather patterns. Houston is more susceptible to hurricanes, heavy, heavy rains, tropical storms, flooding, and all of the repercussions of those types of storms. Those tend to be more frequent than the dramatic weather that Dallas gets. Now, Dallas gets hail about as frequently as Houston gets the tropical storms and floods and things. It just isn't as damaging. It isn't as significant. It doesn't affect the entire community quite as much as those storms do. Now, Dallas definitely is sort of on the edge of Tornado Alley, and we do get some tornadoes and every, you know, it's not quite frequent, but every so often we do get some pretty scary ones. It's just not as often, and it doesn't affect as much of our area. So if you're thinking about major weather, Houston experiences more of that than Dallas, and therefore has residential market swings because of that. We've been in a pretty rough stretch over the last decade for Houston and surrounding areas because of hurricanes, tropical storms, heavy, heavy, heavy rains, and the flooding that comes from that. It's been pretty brutal down there. Now, listen, I grew up in Houston. I have family there. I love it. This isn't about which one's better, period. It's about which one's better based on these criteria that you may choose. So there's a lot more to this conversation. If you have more questions, drop those down in the comments. If you agree or disagree, let us know down in the comments. We would love to create additional video resources or engage with you down there in the comments. Of course, if you're thinking about making a move and you choose either one of these cities, let us know. And Houston will get you connected with just a small handful of agents, brokers, mortgage lenders, appraisers, you know, uh, and, and all the services you would need. In Dallas, we would love to earn your trust. In Dallas, Fort Worth, in those areas, we'd love to be the real estate expert for you. So check out our contact information below. If all else fails, find us online at overunderagent.com, overunderagent.com. I'm Todd Tremonti. I run the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team and a couple of other real estate services here in Dallas, Fort Worth all day, every day. I've been doing that for a long, long time. Would love to be a great resource for you. Check out the other videos on our channel. Like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you soon.